Another long and tedious battle. Things happen. Oh! Ah! Dang it! That was what I didn't want to do. Well, anyways, the gimmick of that room is actually pretty simple. If you happen to have a firefly with you, you'll be able to see pitfalls. And you'll actually be able to maneuver around them a lot more easily. And also you can see pitfalls at a much further distance as well. Pitfalls are essentially invisible to the human eye. If you uh, happen to have a map, you pretty much should know where they all are. And also, if you played the game before and have an amazing memory, then you definitely should know where they all are. <laughs> if you don't, and you're like me, who has the, who doesn't necessarily have the memory of an elephant, <sighs> well, then you're pretty much going to need a firefly so you can see pitfalls at a further distance. Okay, seriously, game? Why are you doing that? Why are you throwing me these damn curveballs at these damn loading screens? I seriously don't have a clue, and now my throat hurts. Why? Again. I don't know. <sighs> One thing I could try doing is just, uh... Well, I could... Dang it. Oh, man, that was actually a pretty close call. Not too close, but still... Yeah. Eh, I think that's good for now. Alright, time to change formations again. I think I'll swap him out with Sarah this time, just to get a chance to show her off. Hmm. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but uh, Sarah is statistically the most powerful mage that you can possibly get at this point in the game. Uh, let's see... Oh. Actually... <laughs> Alright, I think I'm good. On the uh, setting skills for Sarah, that is. Also, when you're proceeding through this particular area, you want to stay away from those areas that are on the right there with the wind blowing. Otherwise, the firefly will actually go away. And you'll be in some serious trouble. Okay, getting back to what I was... Dang it. It actually worked! <laughs> I didn't expect it to, but damn! Okay, I'll take it. Okay, getting back to kind of what I was saying before about Bill S978. At first, I was uh, actually really scared, as I said before, because the Bill's uh, threat to. Let's zoom up the map. Okay, let's go left first. Watch out for pitfalls, if I can find any. As I, I was saying, I... You know I repeated myself too much. I'm just gonna stop right there. Hmm. Here's something interesting. This will come into play a little bit later in the game. I'm not sure, I think I mentioned it before when I was in the Crimson Forest the first time, but... Who knows for sure. There's a little pathway on the right over here, and it actually leads to another area. To tell the truth, I think this leads back down to the first room. In case you fall back down one of the uh, pitfalls, this you can use this little area as a shortcut. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's just a shortcut. So, now that the time has uh, passed since uh, not Bill S978 was announced, um, I'm actually thinking that this bill is def most definitely not going to pass. The reason is actually quite simple. The 
bill itself, it's just a plain criminal about uh, what it actually is and what it entitles and what it tells. Yeah, you pretty much get it. So basically, the bill is going to be like taking away the rights upon upon uh, video game footage and whatnot from uh, the companies and giving it to the gov. Dang it! That was a close one. Cut down Sarah on level three white magic and spirit magic. <gasps> Five white magic. Hmm. Well, that was an annoying battle, but whatever. Things happen. Alright. Uh, menu assessment type. Yeah, I think I'm good. Alright, let's change formations, and I have returned to normal speed. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> Alright, Ming, you're coming back into the party for now. Alright, let's see. What am I having you do for Black Magic? Jansen, learn level 5. Let's look at the spell book. Hmm. Flare, Mine, and Prisma. Hmm. Interesting. Nice. Okay, as I was saying before about Bill S978, it's basically taking the rights upon the video game footage distribution away from the developers and really giving it to the government. And that is wrong. And the bill is just not going to, going to pass. End of story. So, I pretty much have nothing to worry about. At least not right now. But, still... Things can change over the course of, uh, you know, the next coming months or even the next coming years. But, again, who knows for sure. Hmm. I'm about up to 50 minutes of recording. Surprisingly, I haven't even been recording for that long, which is kind of odd if you ask me. Whew, long loading screen for the win. <laughs> Not. Hmm. I know there is something down here. I think you have to... Oh yeah, it's over here, actually. Or maybe not. I'm probably thinking of something else. Yeah, it is something else I'm thinking of. It's basically a hidden treasure. You have to get the treasure objective first and find out where the treasure is before you can actually obtain the treasure itself. Now it's time for more cinematics. Now with 100% more efficient energy! Awesome! And now the lights are out. Which is bad. I hear something. There's something there. No way! Can't be serious! <sighs> now this is more like it. There's only one way out. We have to go through them. <sighs> well, basically what's going on now is that, uh, well, we are pretty much ambushed by these weird bird-like things. And obviously, we have to get through them in order to actually progress onward. This does not Jeez, no shits, dude. <sighs> Alright, for every time you encounter one of these things on the field, you'll fight four of these uh, rough eaters. They're Earth and their element is Earth, and they are an organic species. So I guess wind ought to work. So let's try wind. Uh. These things are actually quite dangerous as well. 
especially in groups. So, <laughs> be prepared to heal and... Yeah. Oh, Zithora. Zithora acts like Hela, except it heals all of your units. So, keep this in mind. However, it does take longer to cast. So keep that in mind as well. Not too bad. Ow! Ow! I was about to say, stop going after Kai. Go after someone else. Okay, so Wind is actually super effective against these guys. And why am I re referencing Pokemon? Because I can. Alright, Kai needs healing now. Before I even began this recording session, I was kind of debating whether to record this or Star Fox 64 first. I was originally going to do Star Fox 64 first, but due to some circumstances that happened uh, last Wednesday, <laughs> by that, I mean, a good thing happened, but it involved me actually being away from my computer. But, uh, anyways... Uh, anyways, uh, with me staying out, crud, uh, yeah, as I said, I was about to repeat myself, thank god I caught myself. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good if I did repeat myself again. Yeah. Let's just talk about something else. How I'm gonna handle this, I'm pretty much throwing this around and just throwing this in the rain. I pretty much am not gonna show the rest of these battles. <sighs> yeah, I'll just show this one, but not the others. Reason just for time's sake. And also just for the convenience. That was kind of pointless. Oh well. <sighs> and there we go. These freaking things are down. However, there's many more to where that came from, so that's unfortunate for me. Alright, now it's time to for some healing. Yeah, that ought to do it for now. Whew. Okay. If you... Ah. When you see these green dots on the map, that means that the birds are nearby. So, get ready to attack at any time. Huh. Well, that, again, was uh, pretty annoying. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty much... I'm going to pretty much... Uh, why did I say pretty much twice. Like, two, three times. I have no clue why I did it. So, yeah, sorry. Anyways, I'm going to make a cut. See you guys when I trigger a certain cinematic. So, yeah, bye. Okay, so since that uh, cutscene has been triggered, and it figures just one battle later, <laughs> so I guess in essence just fight three of those things and at once, and you're pretty much good to go. Jeez, I'm almost out of these things. 
Might as well use the last one. Sorry. Or nah, I'll just hold on to it. Okay, note to self, grab more mana herbs when I leave. Okay, so what we gotta do now is pursue that red bird thing. And that is gonna be running around throughout this area. And avoid the green ones as much as you possibly can. Because obviously, that's not going to be helping you. Jeez. Oh, no. Give me the red one, please. Come back here. Die. There we go. If it wasn't obvious enough, I am showing this battle off because, well, we got the uh, rough servants and the rough queen. Again, all of them are organic and of the earth, and their element is earth, so their weakness should most definitely be wind. And also, you cannot run from this battle either. Keep this in mind when fighting these things, and also, these things are actually much more powerful. Well, they're not that much more powerful, but they are powerful. They're more powerful than the other ones that we've encountered earlier. Yeah. Oh, what am I to talk about now? I really don't know, actually. Sorry to say. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. I actually forgot what that does. I think randomly they'll attack each other if, uh, in particular, one of the rough servants are jealous of one another. I guess Satan, they're just trying to impress the queen. Not sure. Uh, great, Kaim is blind. Delinquency. Interesting. Alright, Jansen. You cure poison from yourself. And, let's see, Ming, I will have you cast all win once again because I can. Well, one thing I could talk about now is... Oh, wow. That is really bad. Uh-oh. This is even worse. Yeah. Ouch. <sighs> Man, Cook is now completely petrified. Man, that really sucks. Kaim is still blind, which sucks even more. Alright. I hate to do this. Or... I have an idea. Alright, first, Jansen, you heal Seth. Let's see. Can Ming cure the... Uh... No, she can't. <sighs> Again, I hate to do this. This was definitely not a, something I wanted to do, but I'm going to use a cure-all. A cure-all is a miracle medicine that recovers one party member from any status ailment, as described upon the top bar of the screen. For some reason, Cook is blinking. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just weird. Alright, cast all wind again. Your alls don't come very often, so <laughs> if you find them, save up on them. Just save up on them as best as, best as you can. And damn it, Ming went down. And damn it, another ally has been called to the battle. Well, I pretty much figured out what jealousy does. Even though I kind of knew it already. Alright. Time for another Angel's Plume. Bring back Ming, obviously. Jansen, 
uh, I guess I'll have you heal, uh, duh. God, what am I to talk about? I really don't know. Again, sorry to say, I really don't have anything to talk about. Damn it! Uh, shut up, idiot. Hello? He's blind. He's not gonna do anything. Uh, cry is really getting annoying. And so is that, because that is so devastating. It completely pierces all through all defenses and pretty much tears your characters apart. Even though it, it's a single attack, still, damn, it's annoying. Alright, Queen. Uh, I'll kill this one. Get the ones behind me! Why did I make a Star Fox reference? Because I can. I'll attack this one. Great. All right. Cook. Use a uh, healer on Kai. He needs it really badly. Tell the truth. I don't think he's even gonna make it through this turn. Ah, uh, no. Doesn't look like it. He's pretty much dead. Really? Overkill much? <laughs> well, at least he didn't take it out on someone else. But still, it's such a waste. Which really sucks. <sighs> okay, what am I to talk about and what am I to do? Alright, obviously, gotta bring back time. And I got some serious work to do. I don't think I need a heal, uh, I just need heal. There we go. Uh, until things improve, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut the rest of this battle out. So, I guess I'll see you guys when I win. Or lose. You gotta be shitting me! Uh, the queen fled. Does this mean I lose? I don't know. The battle's still going. Yep, I have to go chase the freaking bitch all over again. Uh, I am not showing this battle again. Screw it. I'm done. So, sorry. I'm cutting this out. See you guys later. Finally, the queen is dead at last. <sighs> However, the battle still continues. Still gotta kill the rest of these guys, Law. Of course. Whatever. Whatever needs to be done, needs to be done. That was close. That was close indeed. Jesus Christ. If you want to defeat the body, just cut off the head. <sighs> Whew! That was a close call. Seriously. I really have no idea what would happen if, uh... You know, we didn't make it out of that. Well, now that the Queen has destroyed, all the other enemies have actually ran off. Thank freaking Lord, we're done. <sighs> yeah, the Black Cave is now complete. We can now proceed onward and proceed to the City of Salmon. However, I'm not going to be doing that in this video because I'm completely out of topics, I'm dry, and my throat is killing me. 
So this is Drunk Goomba one six four five. See you guys next time for when we proceed onward to the city of Salmon and see what's going on over here because something tells me things are gonna get a little creepy.